You know one of the most important thing a human can do to help another human is to donate blood. Around the world, about 118 million people donate blood a year. And that helps millions of people to stay alive in different types of situations. The most common use of donated blood is during surgery and people that have been in an accident. And a little bit of this blood is used for people that need blood transfusions because of a disease or sickness. Like people with leukemia need to have blood transfusions. So everything is going well, right? But the problem is, this blood is more complicated than you think. As you know, it's made of different types of groups. If we all had the same blood type, it would be very easy and there would pretty much never be a shortage of blood. But unfortunately, it's not that easy. There's different types of blood and some of them are very common and some are very rare. The most rare type of blood that's flowing through different people's veins, it is the RH no blood type. Have you ever heard of it? I haven't heard about it either. People that have a RH no blood type are in a bad situation because around the world, only 46 people are reported to have it. So with this blood type, if you get in an accident or need blood, there is no blood for you. But on the other hand, if your blood type is O positive, for example, the store next door has it. But that was a joke. What I mean is that it's very common. But how many types of bloods are there? You might not believe it, but there's 33 different types of bloods. But what are the differences? To us, it just looks red and I don't see a difference. The thing that makes a difference in blood is antigen. And to put it in simple words, it's like this. It's a type of protein on your red blood cells. Like on an A type blood, there is A antigens. And on a B blood type, there is B antigens. But on an AB blood type, it has both types of antigen. When you donate blood, it is important to remove the plasma from the blood. 55% of blood is plasma, which is mostly protein and water. It is important to remove it from the red blood cell so the next person can accept it. In other case, the other person might not be able to accept it. In this case, the red blood cells could stick together and create a blood clot. This system is not that old. Back in the day, they didn't remove the plasma from the blood and they would do the blood transfusion normally. But there is always a risk when you don't remove it. And that is why they don't do it anymore without removing the plasma. Doing this allows the AB blood type to accept blood from the A group and the B group. Either type of O blood the negative or the positive. It could donate to A, B, B, and A. It is good to know that 37% of the human population has an O positive blood type. But this is just the O positive. O negative is only 7% of the world. And if they need blood, they could accept it only from O negative. And that makes the O negative blood type a little risky. If you look at this chart, you could tell what type of blood someone can receive or who they can give it to. You see O negative all the way at the top. It could donate to everybody, but it can't accept from anyone, except for itself. Which one is the best blood in this chart? It's the one at the bottom, AB positive. And you could tell because it can accept from every blood type. But this is not every blood type in the world. These are the most common ones you see. We said in the beginning, there is 33 different blood types. This chart only shows 8 blood types. So where's the other 25? The other ones differ based on their antigens. But what about the least common one, the one we were talking about, RH null? This blood type does not have any antigens. 
Indians. Do you know what doctors call this type of blood? They call it the golden blood because it's one of the most valuable bloods. Someone that has this blood type, they can donate it to whoever they want. I'm not saying they could make money off of it, but everybody can accept it. But we also have to know, around this golden blood, it is also the most dangerous blood. Anything that happens to these 46 people with this blood type, they could only get blood from the other 45 people. A lot of people that have this blood type are the native Australians, and you could find different ones around the world as well. As you know, Shipping blood around the world has its own problems. It has to be kept in 4 degrees centigrade. And passing blood through the airport has a lot of problems. Because there's a lot of paperwork involved to get blood from country to country. And they don't let it in easily. And that is why if a native Australian goes somewhere outside the country and gets involved in an accident, it could take up to one month for that blood to arrive there. Sending blood to Islamic countries is even harder. Like the UAE has a law that blood only has to come from Muslim countries. And they don't accept blood from non-Islamic countries. Unfortunately, when blood is needed, most of the time it's an emergency and there's not enough time. And blood types like this are never there on time. It's good to know that the native Australians that have the rare blood type of RH null, they save blood for themselves. They go to the hospital twice a year and basically donate blood for themselves so they can keep it. And in case they get in an accident, they have blood ready. It is kind of weird, but in Switzerland, there's one person that has RH null blood type and he helped save a young child's life because of its blood type. Because we said RH Null can donate to everybody and that is why his blood was donated to a kid that needed blood right away. What he did was really heroic because they didn't realize somebody could be found that could actually donate the blood and to actually help save the life of a kid. So now we realize when we donate blood, we're helping save a life because 100% of the time, your blood will be used for a good cause. So when did this blood transfusion thing start? From the 19th century. The British man James Blundell in the year 1818 for the first time ever successfully performed a blood transfusion. From then and there, hundreds of millions of people's lives were saved because of blood transfusions.